So a lot of people have been asking me lately about some macros, uh, some more than others, really. Uh, there's not that many different ones to go through um, on Classic, not that I'm using yet anyway. I'll probably add some more in time, depending on um, if I need them for PvP, stuff like that. So a lot of them uh, will be the same or similar to stuff that I have in BFA. Uh, if you want to check out the BFA macro vid, uh, I will send a carrier pigeon to guide and let him know when he's editing this video to put a box on the screen now. And uh, you can probably click that and it will take you to the BFA macro stuff. Hopefully it reaches him time. Um, but yeah, the, the, the macro system is the same in BFA as it is in Classic. So a lot of the stuff is, uh, is transferable. Uh, but what I'm going to talk about today is... Basically what people ask me most about. So it'll be the help harm macros. And I've got similar stuff on on live. But basically what this does is when you're targeting a friend or no one, it will show your heals. When you're targeting an enemy, it shows your damaging spells. And you can switch them over. You can put whatever you want. I'm considering putting Holy Fire on my greater heal as a help harm as well. And it just generally makes your gameplay a lot more fluid. You don't have to move your hand around as much. You don't need as many buttons on the bar. You don't even need as many binds. You're essentially halving the number of binds you need by putting the same spells on the same bind. And what you can also do, which I haven't done yet but I'm going to, is you can put different ranks. So obviously you want rank 1 Renew and you also want rank 1 Pain. So what I'll most likely put those on a Shift 1. And I can put a Shift 1 on a modifier as well. On the same bind, on the same macro, we can put a, a modifier on that too. Um, so maybe maybe we can do that live. So, well, on the Flash here we've got, uh, we've got a modifier already. Right, we've got a rank four modifier. So let's uh, let's do that on on pain. So renew, we want no mod, renew, and then we want mod shift renew rank one. Now it's, that should uh, that should cast renew rank one on myself if I press shift. So if I'm holding shift down, you can see in the bottom right it's changing the rank to rank one. Now shift does shift one doesn't work because I still have it bound, so I just go here, bind it, unbind it. Now shift one should work, and we get a renew rank one, doing nine healing per second. So the reason we want this is if somebody's spam purging us and we want to bait them out to waste mana on purges, there's no point in spamming a max rank renew. We waste our own mana, so we spam rank one renew, and a lot of people won't notice and they'll spam purge it. And you can do the same thing with pain. We can add pain to it as well. So we can put uh, no mod in here, and then we can put harm exists, no dead, mod, shift, shadow, word, pain, rank 1, semicolon. Now that should, that should put pain rank 1 on this mob when I press shift. So it's switching to rank 1 on the tooltip and putting up rank 1 pain. So now we have rank 1 pain, rank 1 renew, max rank pain and max rank renew on the same button, on the same macro, uh, on 1 and shift 1. Let's go before he frags me and I look awkward. Go on, give me, give me an essence baby. Devastating. So that's uh, that's essentially my goal. I need to I re revamp a lot of my binds, but that's that's the help harm macro. And again, these will be in the description if you want to copy it, anything like that. Uh, it's a work in progress, but the 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 mentality behind the different binds is the same, and the macro is, is essentially the same. Um, another one I want to talk about, and just macros in general. If you put in a macro. Uh, let me look at a good one. So something like this. Uh, if you put a spell in a macro without a rank, it will automatically use the max rank of the spell. So this can be really useful for when you're leveling up. Like so many times when I'm leveling up, I will literally forget to put a higher rank on my bars. I try and remember, but it inevitably always happens. You fuck up and you, you accidentally forget one of the ranks. And this will kind of stop that happening. So if you get your main spells and you put them in macros, then every time you, you level up, you don't have to waste time um, doing it or even worrying about doing it. Uh, 
because they will automatically change. And uh, I actually had a tournament once where I forgot to put on max rank penance, and I played the whole tournament with rank one penance. Um, and then after we won the final, I just randomly checked it. I don't even remember why. I don't even remember why, and I was like, "Holy shit, what just happened?" So, yeah, make sure you get your macros on. It's it's a big deal. Uh, you will forget otherwise. I promise you. Um, so yeah, that's that's a big one, and that's a big reason for doing it. Uh, let me see what else do we have. We had a shoot macro as well. So I had a couple of shoot macros that I tried. This one didn't actually work. It kind of soft worked, but then if you hard spammed shoot too much, then it kind of for too long it it cancelled your your shoot. And what we were looking for is a a macro that you allows you to spam shoot essentially without it cancelling. So I'm pretty sure this one's on now. So let's let's try. So yeah, it's still it's still cancelled. It cancels after you you fire the shot. Out. This is the best one I've found so far. So it works until a, sh a shot gets fired out. Um, but if you spam it after the shoot, then it cancels. And honestly, I don't think that's especially a bad thing. Um, ones are a little bit clunky uh, on classic, and they they're a bit temperamental. You kind of got to get used to the feel of them. But I kind kind of like this one. It feels good to be able to cancel it if needed after uh, after firing a shot out. Again, you can just move to cancel as well. I do that a lot of the time. Um, so that's that's the shoot macro. What else did I have? Obviously, stop casting. Standard. Uh, it's handy if you get over to whatever and you can't move. Having a stop ma stop casting. Stop casting to fake people out. Stuff like that as well. Uh, this is also very handy if you've mind controlled something. I recommend having this. This is kind of the main reason I've got it. If you mind control something and you, you, you press stop casting, it will cancel the mind control instantly. You don't need to worry about like clicking it off or anything like that. Um, and I think that was pretty much everything I wanted to go over. Again, there's nothing too um, too revolutionary on classic. Most of the stuff is on uh, on live as well. Um, if I find anything new or if I start using anything new, I will uh, I'll potentially update uh, the death blind post. I'll put all these on a death blind post and I'll update that. So be sure to check that out in the future if uh, if you've got any. Any queries or wonderings, or, or if you've got any good macros for classic, feel free to just hit me up in the comments. I'd be like, I'd be really, uh, really happy to hear about anything that I've not uh, not tried yet that could be useful. Uh, so yeah, I think think that's about it. Um, we've got other videos on uh, the talents, the leveling talents. If you want to check that out, if you want to check out max level talents, there's a video on that too. Um, I'm sure Guide will. Uh, We'll know the jam by now and get those up. And yeah, I think I think that's it. I think we're good, boys. I think I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.